Hi Pisces, this is your March reading and um, please do check your Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs of the March readings. If you see this reading later than March, it's fine, it's timeless, it's, it means your energy has been called to it, so there's messages for you. This is for all Pisces placements and there will be obviously every couple of days there's new content on my channel, so I welcome you to subscribe uh, where you're going to find readings for your signs, shorts for your signs and interim, interim messages as well and different themes and stuff. So having said that, let's get into your reading. Um, a couple of things before I start your reading that I took note of. Um, taking a leap of faith towards something new. Things should start working out in your favour. Your dreams could be significant. You may be renovating. Something you thought went missing. You're receiving an answer with regards to something in seven days. Having a cup of tea. Someone wants to unblock you. So I guess someone's coming back. <laughs> okay, let's dive into your recent past. Recent past for Pisces and all Pisces placements. Recent past for Pisces. Four of Cups. So something's uh, upsetting you a little bit. Um, something's not fulfilling you. You know, um, you were happy, but something's taken a change where you, although you're stable, your heart's not in it. You're not feeling this anymore. Ten of Cups. Clarify the Ten of Cups, Page of Swords. So there was something that actually had your... Um, you felt fulfilled, happy home, happy life. You were also fulfilled. But then I'm getting that so there was some kind of communication that came in. was not the best communication that actually made you feel like your cups are no longer full. Um... I'm going to shuffle again because too many cards. Current energy for Pisces, please. Moving on to current energy because it's more important and the future. If I need to clarify the past again, we can do that. Knight of Swords. So you have communication coming in for you. What is it about? Ace of Pentacles. Blessings are coming in for you. So things are going to get better. Um, things. This is your current energy. So some of you could be waiting on a job offer, a contract, some financial stability. Um, it's definitely coming through a promotion um, and or an increase in pay. There could be communication around, you know, a check or something you've been waiting on, a deposit on a house and that you actually get the house, a move, uh, something that you, you know, you've been wanting to do and get. And here's the completion of it with the Ten of Wands. This has been quite heavy on you though. I wonder if it's caused you a bit of mental anguish in terms of, you know, are you going to get this? You've been carrying a bit of heavy burden and I wonder what this heavy burden um, has been, you know, um, has been has been making you feel is it around a job that's made you feel you know you've had additional responsibility it's fine you're doing it and you're completing but has it been a bit of a burden to you um because there is a change here i wonder if you're moving departments in terms of a workplace as well um things are already improving because this is your current energy The devil. I was just thinking, I wonder if you're actually thinking, um, oh, there's a fear of everything might still go wrong. Um, or you're not going to get this job offer if you've not received it because it's current energy. Um, and this is just a fear response. Sometimes we need to go through really difficult circumstances and experiences in life 
um, will think that will stop and think things can uh, can get better, but they do and they will. Um, like we think things are not going to get better. Uh, or we think things can get better and then we lose fearing them basically and I think this is what the devil is doing I don't think this I think that's the interpretation of the devil clarify the devil for me the page of wands wanted to come out which tells me you've got ideas and actions you want to take what you're frightened of and this is what I was trying to get past on the card it wouldn't let me the six of wands there's recognition coming in for you. So it is to do with, you know, what you've been working on, what you've been hoping for. There's a fear that it's going to come to you, but you're going to lose it. And I, I've been there. I understand how you feel if some of you are feeling this way. Um, so just. I'm pulling up some astrology to see how. Saturn's moving into Pisces on the second, so it's it's done that, and it will move into Pisces for two and a half years. It's going to be around your self thoughts, your identity. I did mention this in the Astro Weekly, so have a look at your theme. It's personal growth, identity, but have a look at all the elements that I mentioned. It will impact you and shine a light on. Um, I think here. I don't need any more clarification of the tarot cards in terms of what I've what I've clarified for your current energy. I'm going to move on to the near future. Venus is in your sign or was in your sign and moved into Aries. Um, while it was in your sign, I wonder how you were feeling. Were you feeling like um, there was a light on you, sh uh, you know, sort of showers with a voyage of returning home, feeling back in your heart? Did you do some self-care? Um, did you feel a bit different in your home, a bit more sacred and at calm? Um, the quality, did you feel like, you know, you was like a diamond under Venus's um, light? Work affirmations right now and recenter back to your worth and let your um, forever dream of, dream paint, dreamer paint pictures of what you want. Write stories and believe in impossible uh, stories, reasons, reason to believe in scenarios of life. The universe favours us who dream, you know, um, and you're the best dreamer, Pisces. Those that dream, who dare to dream, who participate. Um, do it your way and make it fit for your plans um, because what I'm getting look at that wheel of fortune in the near future so you're closing out a cycle and the universe is turning things around for you um, I really feel there's a need for you to do something you love as well um, bring attention to the present moment is a big thing that I believe is needed for you um, there's not much else it's just be present if it's feeling a bit complicated if that fear is coming over it's because you're not paying attention to the present moment you're not trusting in the universe and yourself and here's the universe coming in saying in the near future I'm turning things around um, and if you know that's why you're getting or got this job offer that's why you know you need to recognize yourself and let go of this sort of the thoughts around fear that it's not going to stay. Um, you could be dealing with a Taurus, Scorpio, Leo or Aquarius and also a Capricorn could be significant um, or an earth sign. Um, you're in your head a little bit about trying to figure things out and that's why you might also be having the fear at some stage that things that are giving you that glimmer of hope or this job opportunity or this house that you've just sealed etc is coming in these days um you're fearing to go because you are in your head um you'll get so much further if you listen to your heart and pay attention to the present moment and the pattern that has been in repeat for so many years delivers a powerful message you have the opportunity 
to end this pattern, to end the fear, um, and just come into alignment. Um, with the world card, you don't need to figure it out. The world card is a major arcana. It's telling you that it's going to figure things out for you. And I don't know why I'm getting the number five. So in five days from seeing this reading, you may get a sign about something. Um, in five months from now, there's going to be, there's a total turnaround. But that doesn't mean that things are not coming through. You've got, if you've not received this job offer, this home, the things that I mentioned that are in your current energy, it's coming. It's coming through. And the world is here doing that cycle for you. Now, we also got the Six of Pentacles in the re in the near future. This is the new thing that you're starting, where it's a lot about give and take. There's recognition for your hard work. It's not like you're carrying the Ten of Wands or, you know, having this sort of communication that might be, um, you know, not really aligned for you. And it's a feeling of being a bit more present that you really need to um, tap into is what I'm feeling for you. And um, doing something you love will, yeah, doing something you love is going to yield connections and relationships. This is around surrendering as well. Now with this, I just be careful in terms of what you're wishing for, because it is a wish fulfillment card, it's going to come through. Make sure that it's not very superficial as well. The hanged man says that once you take time out as well, you're going to have um, that feeling of being present and being anchored, you know. Um, and the funny thing about it is that when I got a card here, there was a card here that normally I don't notice how red... This one, the Page of Swords in the recent past. All that stood out to me when I pulled this was his red boots, which was telling me you need to anchor yourself in your root chakra. And we'll see if more root chakras come up. But the hanged man is really that. And it's about being present, exactly what I just stated. So these cards are really representing of what I felt. Now with the hanged man, um, Yeah, I, I, I don't want to, If I, sometimes when you pull more tarot cards, you can go down a different route, but I'm 100% certain it's about a bit of surrender, trusting the universe with the wheel of fortune, and also just being present, grounding yourself, being present, the light of wands, great news, and uh, uh, great news is coming in for you as well, um, so getting a message with the seven of cups as well i want to see if a card comes out for you having a bit of deja vu if some of you are having a bit of deja vu this is where you need to be present because i'm having a bit of deja vu or maybe i've just done a lot of readings where i thought you had the three of swords here but you don't have the king of cups um this could be also love coming in for you um, and as I say that, the Nine of Cups, you in the near future honouring yourself, you're putting back into yourself, you are making sure the energy you're giving out is reciprocated and you're on mutual levels with other people, you're giving and receiving, not just giving and you're not just receiving, you are emotionally recognising yourself, you're happy with yourself, you are more present, you've got this um, thing that you've been working on, the job, the home, etc. It's here. And the, you know, things are going in a great direction here. Can I have an additional card? Clarifying the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands. Two of Swords. So you might have two decisions. Um, 
death. You, you need to put an end to something that might come back to you that doesn't serve you. Um, Something that, you know, the wheel of, the wheel of fortune is ending the cycle, which is possibly to do with your thoughts here, because this is about, you know, thinking that you can't take a decision, you're in a difficult, challenging position. Some of you are in that, okay? You need to put an end to this. You need to take that leap. You need to surrender like a hanged man first. Surrender and then you can move forward. The, the universe is going to put what's not good for you to an end. Some of you, if you're still having this, it's coming to an end. Some of you have already had this ending. You need to put an end to your the fears and your own problems. And you need to align with the King of Cups who is very emotionally um, in tuned and also a great counsel. You need to move into this nine of cups where you're focused on yourself. You're giving as much as you're receiving. And look at this, creativity also. You, you might, you know, you might look to um, take a short trip with the hands man energy, with the wheel of fortune, you might be traveling, you might be um, connecting with people beyond your area. Um, you have a clearer vision of what's going on around you in the life, whether it's to do with the new job environment, whether it's to do with the further steps that you want to take. You're no longer looking back at what you believe you missed because you know you're not missing out on anything. Let's have a look at. Miracle. You're having blessings coming in. You know, you're receiving miracles during this time. Um, it does need continued action, but um, continued action from a present space. But you are being gifted with miracles and opportunities that are coming. And we're seeing that in the tarot as well. Continue to shuffle. I see. I'm kind of intrigued to see what spirit animal comes up for you. I'm feeling one already. Acceptance. For me, this is about accepting yourself. And I was wondering whether a card relevant to the root shackle would come up. Because that's what I've been feeling all in your energy is to be present. Accept yourself. Let go of these fears. Look at that. Let go of the fears. Um, and accept everything and anything around you, the flaws or, you know, what you are receiving in terms of miracles because you're worthy of it. Perception. Accept it. Stop perceiving that it's going to go. Stop perceiving that you might not be worthy of it. And also with this, I feel there's a bit of connecting to your heart chakra, all this is going to be okay once you just um, get a bit present with yourself. For your spirit animal. Too many. Amazing things are coming through for you. Freedom. How beautiful is this card? The horse. It's powerful as well. Horse freedom. Your heart is pure and free. Your greatest purpose calls you. You have unlimited reserves of stamina and strength. Follow the winds of change and accomplish your dreams. And I said with these, with this miracle, you need to take action but be present with it. Follow your dreams and free yourself, Pisces. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, I'd love for you to subscribe to this channel. If you want a personal reading, you can email me. The details are always in the description box. If you want any of my services, such as 
energy healing, life purpose coaching, natal chart reading, human design, um, energy healing in terms of Reiki, what energy healing comes in the different packages as well. And then and the tarot card readings is very much the same. There's different ones. It's starting from a one question to whatever area in your life, a monthly, and so on. So I look forward to doing your next reading. Check the readings and the shorts that are up every one or two days. And if you have different placements, which you would have, I recommend you check them all. And every day you'll find something on the channel. So having said that, thank you very much, Pisces, and take care. Have a beautiful day. Bye for now.